What's up, everybody? Uh, new little backdrop. I'm trying some things out. This hasn't reached its final form, but you just have to bear with me for a few videos until I get it all sorted. I just got tired of fighting with that little backdrop. So anyway, this is going to be a little different today. This is not a review. Don't expect a review. It's not a review. I can't recommend this or not recommend this. This is going to be more of an overview. There's a little bit of backstory to this. This was given to me by Hung from 215 Toys, a personal friend of mine, good dude, and he was in a conversation with our good friend Keith, and Keith wanted me to take a look at this. Uh, I'm sure that he knows I wasn't too friendly to that. So he wanted me to take a look at it and, and get my opinion, and he thought I'd, I'd be impressed. Um, there are some changes, and they are good changes for the most part. I'm still having a little bit of trouble with this, but I'm not going to be critiquing it. I'm just going to be adding my two cents about it throughout. And we're going to go from this mode to the other mode because I think we did it vice versa the first time and the transformation is not all that different. Rolls like a champ, so that's good. Uh, the wheels seem more secure. They're screwed in, whereas with these, I think they were pinned. I don't know. I lost a wheel. I lost that one. Now, that was screwed in, too. Maybe the screws are just longer now because they feel much more secure than the others do, and that's good. This is a test shot prototype, and it's version one. Version two is supposedly supposed to have the die cast in it. This does not have the die cast, uh, but it does have the engineering changes. So uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention. Uh, it's not painted either, so that should be noted. And we're going to talk about where I think paint should be, and we're going to talk about a couple of philosophical kind of arguments in regard to this and, and a re-release with fixed issues. Uh, but... You know, size-wise, it's the same. If you need a quick recap of that, there it is next to Tiger Tracks. And then I think we can pretty much go ahead and transform it. I'm a little rusty, so forgive me. But we unpeg these side pieces here. And then you bring these feet down. As you do so, you got to orient it because it gets, it gets very unoriented uh, in terms of how it's supposed to be. So these caps that are at the top of the thighs now move to the side. Uh, you also need to wrap this bit around here, this orange piece that comes to the back and then tucks in. And then this piece, the foot comes down and this piece tucks in as well to kind of fill that out. Same thing on the other side, tucks in, wraps around, fills it out, foot comes down. The only uh, real change that I remember here is that it has these things here which act as uh, foot spurs or heel spurs rather to help stand him up uh, the issue is is that that wasn't really what prevent him from prevented him from standing up in the first place um, it was just the the solidity of the joints but the joints are better not perfect but better we'll get back to that okay all this stuff this backpack comes up the arms come unpegged and you just kinda gotta get them out of the way for now and let's see what we have to do uh, you can bring the head up and around. You can bring the arms. Can you bring? Can you turn the arms around? You can at least turn them around. And you got to get these pieces to the back. I still find that movement to be a little uh, less than favorable. You still, I feel like you got to bend these around a little bit in order to get them to the back. And then you fold this around like that and like that. Arms to the front. This comes uh, these pieces slide to the center and then this piece comes down and clips that together to hold it in place and then this all comes down and those tabs there and there lock on to the insides of the wheel oh this butt flap comes down as well and this my, my kids got uh, friends over and they're acting like wild elephants and that's pretty much it uh, and then, of course, our favorite thing. We mustn't, mustn't forget that. Flip out our, our hands out of our little forearm covers. 
Now, he comes with a gun and a slingshot. Uh, I don't have either of those to talk about. So, and that's not really the point of this anyway. So there he is, and I'll get him cleaned up, and we'll take a look at him real quick, and we'll compare. So, head sculpt-wise, uh, they seem to be identical. Um, I think they could probably use some sharper features in the face if they were doing retooling it anyway. Uh, it's on a hinge here to a ball peg, so you get up to there, down to there, and then the swivel action. This one is the same thing. Color-wise, I hope that they keep them uh, the same because that looks pretty good. And then you have a waist swivel here on the new one. You have a waist swivel. Actually, it seems like a maybe arguably a better waist swivel here on the old one. For the new one, you got the butterfly hinge here and then the ball joint shoulders, which gets you up to there and around. For this one, uh, same butterfly hinge. Uh, ball joint to get you here and around and I think paint apps wise I think if they just follow it through for the most part that will be fine same for the bicep single hinged is that a single it feels like a double hinge but it's a single hinged elbow and then wrist and fingers are all the same and I think paint apps wise that's fine bicep swivel mmm better elbow so that's good wrist swivel fingers are the same same for the other side. This pelvis piece here, okay, so this one is the same type of thing, except this is one piece, but I wish that this connected a bit better. Um, and now it might, you might be able to wedge it up in there, but I, I wish that that was a bit more fluid the way that that piece connects. And these have hinges now. Um, so they can hinge up. It's not an extreme range, but it's far enough to get you some decent posability. Speaking of the thigh, that comes up to there, back around to there on a ball joint that's more solid. Not perfect. I want to note that. It's not perfect, but it's better. And like you see, and now, you know, this one, and I've seen them worse than, than mine. This one is a little bit looser than this one, but this is a ball joint. It's just something that you're going to have to keep an eye on. It's, you know, that's the nature of ball joints. So you get the thigh swivel both at the bottom of the ball socket and at the ball socket itself, as well as a lower thigh swivel and a single jointed knee, which gets you just shy of 90 degrees. And the kneecap does adjust so you can protect the sculpt. We'll do that with him too. So thigh swivel is the same, lower thigh swivel is the same, knee is less. If you can see that, the range of motion is less here than it is here, so that's interesting. Ankle tilt and the slightest rocker, I would like more of a rocker, and then the toe hinge. Same, ankle tilt, slightest rocker, and the toe hinge, uh, no heel spur here except for that little piece which doesn't really work properly and you have the heel spur there. Now, that's going to do it for this. This is just a quick overlook. But you know, I think he's going to retail at the same price as the original. And this brings up an argument of, you know, like, well then, what's to stop other companies from releasing a poor version to get money to release a proper version? And so this is going to be my advice. My advice is I'd like to see it with the die cast. I'd be careful though because those ball joints are a little weak. Um, not as weak as the original, but, you know, we've seen better. I think we've all seen better. And uh, you can keep the paint pattern probably the same. I don't think it needs any extra paint. Uh, however, what I would like to see is an orange finish on here. You know, and because and, we're paying 60 bucks, so we're buying the toy twice. And I feel like in order to justify that, it really needs... It really needs to stand above and beyond its predecessor. And the only way to really do that is to add a significant amount of incentive. And I think that a finished paint, I think that uh, I, I'm still not 100% sold on those hips. Uh, they're better. There's no doubt about that. And this is definitely better. Like, if you just pick this up and feel it compared to this, this feels instantly more solid. But it's not perfect, and 
it's going to have die cast on it. That's going to help it, you know, give it some weight and make it feel a bit better. Uh, but I think if they were to, like, everything here that's plastic, if that were to have a paint finish, like a real, like, Ironhide Masterpiece level paint finish, you know, then you could justify the price. I am in for this. I, I pre-ordered with Hung right then and there. So I pre-ordered pre them, and I'm in. So I'm going to be able to let you guys know what, what, what the end, end result ends up being like. But I can tell you that it is an improvement. There's no doubt about it that it's an improvement. And I wonder if... No. Uh, like, he feels like he might just drop and stand. But, I mean, th this one, like, I feel like this one just... This one is... Bounces almost. But this is better. Um, it's just, I mean, you can even see, like, you, you can see that there's more, like, the, the toy brings off more confidence because the, the materials are, are, are designed in a way where, you know, it's engineered in a way where it's, it's not just a, a loosey-goosey. Like, hear that? I mean, that sounds worse, <laughs> but it doesn't feel worse. Um, but I hear it. I mean, I hear what you hear. Uh, it's, it's really hard to explain, but, uh. It's really hard to demonstrate on camera anyway, but I can tell you that uh, it does feel better. Uh, so I pre-ordered them, and when the, finest one, when the finished one comes in, I'll be able to tell you guys if he is worth it. But my recommendation, because uh, I can't recommend him, uh, not just based off a test shot like this, but what I can do is say I will. it has secured my confidence enough to rebuy it. And when I rebuy it, I will be letting you guys know if it is then worth it. And I'm telling Keith as a heads up that not only do I appreciate him wanting me to take a look at it, for number one, because I do, but number two, if it has a paint finish and the die cast doesn't hurt any of the joints, especially these ball joints, which I do feel like could even be a little tighter, um, I'm going to give Ollie a recommend at the end of the day if those things are followed through. And I think there's something... To be said for that there's a level of irony that we've reached here that i'm not sure if we've reached before so i appreciate you looking at this overview um, i wanted to do it more so for the company than for you guys but i wanted you guys to get an idea of how this thing is progressing it's better it ain't perfect it's better the question is going to be is it worth rebuying this and uh we'll see thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care